This is going to be a video on how to install the latest leak 2.2 Froyo on your Droid Incredible. Um, what you're going to have to do is if you go to Menu, Settings, uh, About, Phone, Software Information, on your baseband, if it reads 2.05.00.06.11, then you should be good to go. If it doesn't have that version on there, Please follow video, uh, well, this one, Droid Incredible Install Leak OTA Part 1. If you have that baseband version, but if you go to your software and you don't have Super User, which means you're not rooted, then follow uh, Part 2. Okay, I'm going to provide links on the actual YouTube video. Okay, once you get here, though, uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to go to chart. We're going to switch it from charge only to disk drive. Hit done. Alright. Let's get over all this stuff in here. Okay, uh, I'm going to provide a zip file. On that zip file, there's going to be uh, two files in one folder. Copy all of them, and you're just going to dump them onto your, uh, micro SD, or your micro SD card. So that's why we mounted it. So I'm going to go here, right click paste. It's going to overwrite some files, or at least a folder. Oh, I'm deleting it, so that should be okay. Alright, just copied it on the SD card. Now keep in mind, this is a uh, leak 2.2 so if the official one does come out and it doesn't allow you to update from this version you can always downgrade using one of my videos okay now that that's done lower this thing down again and from disk drive switch it back to charge only keep in mind you have to have had um, not only your phone rooted but the custom firmware I mean the custom recovery Again, if you don't have custom recovery, just follow the second video. It'll guide you through all the steps. Sorry about the bad focusing. Wow, I need another camera. Okay. So I'm going to power it off. Hit OK. I'm going to hold down volume and hit power. Once you get here, just wait for that HBoot to read HBoot USB. HB USB plug, that's good. Now just volume down to recovery. Hit the power button on top. Okay. When you're in here, just go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, third option, go all the way down. To confirm, now you're going to go to wipe cache partition. You have to confirm. Okay. Now, one of the files that I had you put on your SD card, you go to install zip from SD card and choose the second option choose zip from SD card. It was called. Uh, well, I don't know if you can read that or not. It's uh, 2010 07 27 underscore stock underscore froyo underscore sign. We're going to install that one. Confirm it. Done. Now, an issue we ran into this version was that uh, wireless tethering wasn't working. So, there's actually an, a post uh, or a thread on XDA about how to get your um, your Droid Incredible running on a, not ad hoc mode but like I think it's infrastructure mode. What that means is uh, any any application or I mean any device can connect to your Wi-Fi tethering. Not just things that support ad hoc. If you don't know what that means, ad hoc is just like a simple co uh, connection that's created like for like PSPs and stuff like that. Infrastructure, it, it's a different one. It's the, the thing that's actually broadcast by like your router. The difference is uh, certain devices, like a Zoom HD, a PS3, they can't read ad hoc. So, um, 
with that latest hack, you can actually get um, you can get devices to read it as infrastructure, or it'll broadcast it as infrastructure. So that means anybody can read it. Anybody, any device can read that type of broadcast. So after we apply this update, we'll apply that one. And just so you know, that video on uh, how to downgrade it, it'll be this one. Downgrade leak OTA. Just go to my videos. I'll provide a link on this too. Still copying. There you go. Okay. Now I go hit volume down again because we're going to install another one. So choose it from SD card. And you're going to choose the one that says tether underscore app underscore kernel blah blah blah. So we're going to install that one, confirm it. Alright. Hit the power button to go one menu back. And then hit the optical button to choose uh, reboot system now. One thing you will notice is, um, you'll notice this the first time too, it, for whatever reason, when your phone's connected to the laptop or a desktop or whatever computer, it's going to run some sort of, it's going to mount it on the computer and it's going to try to run it like as a CD. It's just software that I guess Verizon had pre-installed in there, and I'll show you how to remove that in a minute. Actually, to remove it, I'm not going to remove it, but if you wanted to remove it, uh, back when we were in the custom recovery, um, if you would just open up the command line prompt and run that command right there, adb shell just to connect to it, and then rm space, and then system, etc, and then cdrom.isl, if you just remove that, then you should be okay. I'm not going to remove it because I really don't care. But for the, if it gets annoying, then that's how you remove it. Keep in mind that being stuck like that's normal, especially for the first time. There you go. Time's incorrect, but I'm sure that's gonna fix it a bit. Don't save. Okay. I'll just hit done there. Uh, one of the folders that I had you move onto the SD card is Android.tether. I'm just going to skip through all this real quick. I'm not going to have enough time to install um, to install wireless tether without making a second video, and I really hate making second videos. So, or any type of part two video. So we're just going to leave it at that. Just install Astro File Manager. Just uh, sign into Wi-Fi, log into your uh, Gmail account or your Google account. Then just uh, download Astro File Manager and then install uh, Wireless Tether, which should be located on your uh, SD card inside a folder called Android Tether. So uh, look at that. It's a super user. That means this version is rooted. And if you go to Menu, Settings, about phone, software information, you'll see on the top it says Android 2.2. Okay. Uh, also with this, you also get the uh, 3G mobile hotspot and you also get um, 720p recording along with other widgets. I mean, you get other stuff too. And then you get with stuff that comes with Froyo, but there you go. That's the video on how to update to the latest leak of Froyo 2.2. Thanks for watching. Bye.